Hi, my name is Devon, and I'm gay. Hello everyone and welcome to another fantastic week with moi. Today I am sharing with you guys my coming out story. Um, I've already been out on social media and all that other stuff, but I just wanted to sit down and talk about my experience with this kind of situation. So in December, um, I put on social media on Facebook and Twitter that I was indeed gay. And it was a spontaneous thing. I wasn't even planning on doing it on that day. It just kind of sort of happened. I was writing the message and it was like, okay, I can save it in my drafts and then when I'm ready to post it, I'll just post it. And then, you know that impulse you do when you like write something and then you push send or like, you know what I mean? That's what I did. That's what happened and that's what came out. Originally, my plan was to come out to you guys first and then go um, on Facebook and social media and all that other stuff. But it just so happened it worked the other way around. But I'm here today to tell you this story. Now, a lot of people on social media were fantastic about my news. They took it greatly and they were like, okay, we still love you and all that other jazz. And then there were some people that didn't take it so quite well and they didn't really like, I don't know what they were feeling inside. Like, it's big news, yes. But the one comment that really got to me was that someone came, someone told me, they were like, oh, don't lie to yourself. Like, you're not gay, you're bi. Like, stop lying to yourself. I'm like, um, I've been lying to myself for like a while now and I should know whether the difference is between gay and bi. Like I know the fact that I am gay and not bi. So the fact that he said that to me was kind of like, eh, like I wasn't, like I was trying to keep an open mind because like this is big news and like people are going to take it um, differently than other people. So I'm like, okay, don't take it offensively. Like just like it's his way of getting through the the news so it did aggravate me a little bit I'm not gonna lie but I kind of like calmed it down and then the rest of the people just ignored the fact um, they haven't confronted me about whether they took the news greatly or like they're on the fence or like you know what I mean they haven't came to me and talked to me about anything like I went to their house and they were just like okay like it was any other day like they didn't say anything and I was fine with that the funny fact about this story is when I posted the post that I was gay on social media like a week or two later people came up to me and they were like you weren't already out like I thought you were already out and all this other stuff and like I was like it really is that obvious that I like I am gay and then I'm like wow like I should have did this sooner because the majority of my friends and family they're like okay it's whatever like it is what it is and then I was like wow I should have done this sooner so ever since I was younger I knew I was different um, I had a very slim slim and I mean white and what I mean by slim is like one or two boyfriends not relationship like friends that are boys um, and it's mostly because we didn't connect on the same level like they wanted to play with Nerf guns and GI Joes and like I wanted to play dress up and play with Barbie dolls so that was kind of a disconnect from me and my other friends like I they didn't know that I was like they didn't know that I wanted to do that stuff instead of what they wanted to do so like that's what made me disconnect from them and like have more friend girls and then boys. So coming into 8th grade I started having these attractions to boys and I will remember my first boy crush and I'm not going to say names but he will always have a special place in my heart. God bless him. Anyway back to my story. I just ignored the fact that I was crushing on him and was like okay this is just a phase like it's not nothing important. When I went to high school it was the same thing. I saw these boys I was crushing on them and then I just let it go. I just ignored it. It was a phase. I, I told myself it wasn't a phase. Huh? In 10th grade coming into 10th grade um, I was finally accepting the fact that I was and I was ready to come out and then a family member made this snarky comment of please don't play for the other playing field like your brother so once I heard that I was scared and then I went back deeper a little bit deeper into the closet and I was like okay well um, if I come out now they're not gonna accept me and I was doing all this other negative thoughts in my head about coming out and how it wasn't a good idea so I went back in the closet um, well I never came out but I went deeper back in so then finally I 
found this YouTuber called Todrick Hall and he's my favorite person. I have posters over there with him. I've been to two concerts, I have two shirts. Basically everything Todrick I know about. So after watching him through 10th grade for a year, I went to his concert and Torque du Soleil, the 11th grade, I believe it came out. Like he came on tour 11th grade, I think. Yeah. So after watching him for a year and then going to his concert, I finally accepted the fact that it was. And I'm like, I need to tell, if not everybody, at least one person. So I went to my friend, my best friend, Emma, and I was like, I'm not normal. I'm different than everybody else. I like boys. And then she's like, well, okay, that doesn't affect our friendship like in any other, in any way. Like you're still my best friend and that's how it's going to stay. So having her tell me it was okay and her accepting me gave me so much more courage to come out so then I went to my other friend and I told him he was okay with it because he was in fact gay so like I wanted to tell him because like I wanted some advice on how to come out because he was gay he helped me tremendously and um I went to another Todrick Hall concert at Toddler's Ball and after that I'm like okay I need to tell more people so I told my sister and my sister was okay with it she was completely in indifferent about the fact that I was but the thing that hurt her the most was I didn't come to her first and tell her before I told my friends and she was kind of hurt because we've been close since I was like since I was this small okay I was just conceived we were close literally we had a connection through the heavens um, so we've been close forever so she was kind of hurt that I didn't tell her first but we quickly got over that and now we're best sister and brother again that brings us to today where everyone knows and I am so glad and so happy and it's so freeing to like sit here in front of the camera and be like I'm gay and finally tell everybody that like I'm ready to come out and be myself. Another thing that pushed me to this video and to the post that I post in December was the video I posted of Love Yourself and I'm like how can I bring this character out in myself like for a love yourself to everybody and on YouTube when I don't completely love myself so I'm like this like it needs to happen like I need to come out and tell people that I am loving myself and I'm gay so from my experience the one thing I would tell people that are in the closet is if you're not ready to tell your whole family and your whole group of friends just come out to one person just find that one trusted well trusted friend or family member that like always has your back and always there for you where whatever you need and just tell them and see how they take it and from there it gives you a lot of courage believe me as soon as I told my friend Emma and she accepted me it gave me so much more courage than I had before so that's it for this week's video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button and until next time lions and tigers and me oh my <laughs>